wanted to broaden the use of the platform itself by creating applications that were going to appeal to the masses. Now, games are very popular, as anybody knows. Blockchain games in particular are gaining a lot of traction right now. There's a lot of investment capital being put into blockchain gaming companies, and they're starting to move towards the mainstream. We recognize this, and in the same vein as the Halo platform is working to appeal to non-traditional crypto users, we want to bring traditional gamers into our platform in a very simple and familiar way. Each of our games uses the Halo coin itself, uh, which is of course a cryptocurrency. Any of the, the games on our platform will use that, but with partner games, we also support any ERC tokens and anything that's derivative of the Ethereum blockchain. One of the things that is really part of our secret sauce on block and chain is our team. A lot of cryptocurrency gaming companies out there are taking cryptocurrency developers and attempting to make games out of it. We recognized early on that we have an advantage by bringing game development veterans into our team early on. So we have team members who have built software and games from companies such as Electronic Arts, Zynga, Glue Mobile, DNA, and LucasArts. And they take and bring that expertise uh, into the team and are applying all of their knowledge to make successful games. So in addition to extensive game development experience in large and small scale companies, we have a number of members on our team who have worked in startups and successfully launched new companies. We obviously know that this is important as we're a small scale team on block and chain and we're gonna be growing into a larger scale product over time. The team members who, who are with us have gone through this process before. They're intimately familiar with it and know how to scale a company successfully. In addition to that, we have numerous people who are experts at platform development, and as I'm going to talk about, uh, our platform is a big piece of, of what Block and Chain is all about. So there's a number of features that all of our games include that make us unique vis-a-vis -vis other blockchain game companies. Uh, obviously the Halo platform brings numerous advantages such as frictionless wallet integration. If you have a Halo platform wallet, you can automatically log into our games without any additional credentials necessary. We are also bringing the free to play model to our games. From experience, we know that free-to-play is the most successful casual game model out there on the market. And what we really want to do, because there's two and a half billion game players out there, is broaden that appeal so that people don't have to buy cryptocurrency, they don't have to pay to play our games. They can go ahead, they can play, and essentially try before they buy. In addition to that, we're creating this great player central. Uh, many of us come from the gaming world where we play on Xbox Live or Steam and those platforms that not only host your favorite games, but host your personalized profile, your achievements and all that. We're also building that on the blockchain as part of our player platform. So our early games really focus on wagering largely because within the cryptocurrency gaming sphere this is a very fun, appealing and recognizable game model. So obviously that's the piece of the market that we're going after first, but that's only the tip of our iceberg. We're creating games that are gonna include trading elements, player to player uh, auction house. We're gonna have we're working on battle game, card battler games, we are working on endless runners, and a lot more of those traditional casual games that you'll see out there. Now with our partners, we have numerous partners who are going to be working with us creating larger, deeper games such as MMORPGs. So at the end of the day, we're going to have a platform that's going to have a broad appeal both to cryptocurrency gamers and mainstream gamers alike. The Halo platform itself is a really remarkable piece of technology that essentially is the batteries behind the block and chain game platform. Key to this is the wallet. And when you set up a Halo platform wallet, that allows you to log straight into our games with minimal friction. That's really useful for gamers who come from the mainstream who are not used to working in cryptocurrency platforms. Most blockchain games, you have to create an external wallet, go to a third party exchange to acquire your currency, bring that currency into the platform, and then, and only then, can you create your login credentials. Because the Halo platform is all inclusive of these features, 
we're able to integrate them directly in our game. So if you are a Halo platform user, you are a block and chain game user. A lot of people ask me, what is the benefit of blockchain to games? It is a relatively new phenomenon. And my answer to that is multifold. The blockchain, because of its decentralized nature, is provably fair. So if you require in-game logic that is random, for example, we cannot manipulate that because it comes straight off the blockchain. Player to player transactions such as auction houses and trading through a smart contract can only exist on the blockchain without, again, without our interference. Um, you can acquire and earn cryptocurrency within games, which of course has a value outside of those games. And virtual goods ownership persists beyond the games themselves. So oftentimes when you buy an in-game asset in a normal traditional client server game, you won't really own that asset. It really belongs to the company. You can only use it in the game. With our assets, you can take them outside the game, you can trade them, and they actually do have a value outside of that. So because we are using traditional game engines, we're able to easily port our games from web to mobile. And as, as we follow the development of the Halo platform from the web to the mobile, our games will also follow along very quickly. Due to the speed of the Halo platform, we're able to make real-time games. And as a result of that, there's really no limits to the type of games we're making. Knowing what we know about the industry, both in the cryptocurrency world and in the traditional game, traditional game world, we are bringing our expertise to identify those games that are gonna have the most appeal to users. So that will include anything from wagering titles to endless runners to MMOs with our partner teams and card battlers and RPGs and racing games. And so really there's, there's all kinds of games we can make. Uh, a lot of it is gonna be driven by player demand and we are wide open to hear and, uh, and absorb new ideas from our user base. I also mentioned actually that all of our games have what's called a soft currency. If you wanna play with Halo, you can. A lot of players who don't understand cryptocurrency may not get into Halo right away and that is also a part of our appeal. We offer an alternative currency that fits within our free to play model where you can come in, you can earn a certain amount of it for free through daily drips and special offerings. You can also buy it with your credit card. That currency doesn't have any value outside of the game, but as long as you're in the game, it has value in really anything you do. To unlock some of the more advanced features or to obviously earn real currency, you're gonna be using Halo. So we like to offer both of those options to our players and it's an enticement for non-crypto gamers to come in, get a feel for the game, and then we teach them how to get a hold of Halo and work from there.